Hey guys, it's Katie here and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've never done a story time video on my channel so that's kind of what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to tell a few stories from my childhood. So I hope you enjoy and keep watching. <laughs> so when I was about three years old, me, my mum, my dad and my brother all went to a restaurant which was fine. Great rust restaurant. Um, it was called This Year Can. So we went there and... My mum decided she needed to go to the bathroom and obviously as a three year old I wanted to do exactly what my mummy does and I went to the bathroom with her. So we were in the, like, the same cubicle obviously because I was three <laughs> and the lock on the door was broken so I, when she was obviously like doing the toilet and stuff I was kind of talking to her but I was swinging the door back and forth which I mean privacy, I mean I guess I didn't have any of that logic when I was three. But, um, so I was swinging it back and forth and my mum kept on repeating, um, kept repeatedly, re why can't I fix it up? Kept on telling me to stop it, so obviously I did not. And eventually she was, she got quite um, angry and she was like, just stop! So I, I kind of went, I, I said, fine, and slammed the door, but I slammed it on my thumb. And yeah, the tip of it came off, but they had to call an ambulance. And when we got to the hospital, my mum was practically holding my part of my thumb in a glass, and it's kind of gross and stuff. But you can kind of see the difference between this thumb and this thumb because this one grew back, grew back squint. So yeah, this is really hard. I don't know if you can see the difference there, but that's the first one, and that's the second one. So yeah, I lost part of my thumb in it did grow back because I was young enough and I was still developing but yeah that's that story and it's kind of gross and there was a lot of blood and I had to go to the hospital and get it all bandaged up but yeah. So I was 15 when I had my first boyfriend, it was very short lived but that's beside the point. I was 15 years old and we went on a date and here's a piece of advice, do not go on a date to the cinema, it is dark. And also, it's not really a good chance to get to know each other really, and I mean, we were really good friends before we started going out, but relationships and friendships are a little bit different sometimes. So we went to the cinema, and I was really, really nervous, so that was fine. So we went through the doors, it was a little bit dark because the movie was just starting, and I kind of led into the role, and I was just like talking to him and flirting with him and trying to be all like cool and stuff like that because please, I was 15 and desperate. And I walked straight into the wall, and literally, this is the wall, I went like this, right down, and that was so embarrassing, and he still laughs about it today. When I was a toddler and I watched Jungle Book, I used to go about in all fours, running in a circle like the elephants did. I wanted to be Mowgli. I would not eat toast unless it was called tubby toast. So my mum, whenever she wanted me to eat toast, would call it tubby toast just so that I would eat it. Up until the age of about seven or eight, I used to, when I went there to my granny grandpa's house, I used to put on shows. So my grandpa and I would put on like this circus show and he would like, I would grab onto his thumbs and I would climb up his stomach and do a backflip. And it was a lot of fun and I used to make him announce me so he would announce me in this really weird voice and I would come in and we'd do a, like, a show and stuff like that and I used to like dance and stuff and sing for my granny and grandpa as well. When I was younger I, my dream job was to be a waitress. Then I got a little bit older and I actually became a waitress for a little while and it was not all it's cracked up to be. That's beside the point. So my auntie got me this like waitress pad that um, from the hotel that she managed and I would, I had this tea set so I would go around my home, all my family members when I was in my grand and grandpa's house, my grand, my grandpa and everybody and ask them what they wanted and I would serve them uh, on an empty clay and it was just it was a lot of fun and I wanted to work in JR's cafe in the square in Helensboro just because I'd been there like once and they gave me a, a food biscuit so I mean why wouldn't I want to work there? And I was very serious about my waitressing. That was an actual dream. I wanted to be a waitress, so I was going to be a waitress. I guess I lived out my dream. <laughs> Childhood dream goals. Woo! Okay. This one's very traumatic for me to talk about. When I was four years old, I went 
to the safari park and I went to play in the sandbox and it was the time when the monkeys were allowed to kind of climb on the cars when you were going in before they banned that and like there was this peacock that we just allowed to roam about. It chased me. The peacock chased me. And that started my lifelong fear of peacocks. It's so sad. Anyway, I'm terrified of peacocks because of that. Yeah, it was really bad. And I feel like if it would have happened in this day and age, somebody would have caught on film. But I was lucky. Once a year for three years, me and my three friends from in the street who hung out together all the time would put on shows where we would sing and choreograph our dances and perform to the neighbourhood. Like, literally about 50 or 60 people would show up and we'd raise money for charity and then donate it. So we would do that every year and it was a lot of fun and it literally took like a whole year of preparation. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. So I got glasses for the first time when I was one and I was, um, I was 15 months. And they were like these kind of goggle things because obviously babies probably like keep them on their face. face. But um, mum said I used to do this and then pin them into all these cards and they'd have to go and knock on the door and ask if they could um, get their child's glasses back. When I was my first year of high school, I was, um, I was 12 years old. We started high school around about 11 or 12 in the UK. Um, and I would the bus every day. So the bus would come and get us, well, I would put all the stops, we'd get us to whatever. So this one particular day, I was on the bus ride home and there was these seats, like obviously like, there were ones that kind of sat like this and they were facing the front, but there was also these ones that kind of were like on the side and they were like facing that way. So me and my friends would like to sit there. Unfortunately, um, there wasn't much to hold on to. So I was in the middle, so my friend was here, one friend was here and one friend was here. I was sitting in the middle, so I had nothing to hold on to. And the buses were not a gentle ride. So it took a really sharp corner and as it took the corner, I was very, very small and very, very skinny when I was 12 years old. Um, and it took a sharp corner and I literally flew. And it all happened in slow motion, basically. So I flew from the seat and smacked into the wall that was right across from me and literally, and like in the, mo the cinema scenario went like this, right down and literally when I stood up, it was like everybody didn't know what, what to think at first, everyone was like, but then when I stood up and I kind of smiled, they all started laughing, they were cracking up. I was literally laughing for about an hour after it. Even when I was told my mum I couldn't tell if I'm laughing, but um, yeah, it was a lot of fun and I was not hurt at all, it was just really funny. I've had this doll since pretty much I was born and I still have her. I'm not going to show you because she's pretty banged up now, but um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, so probably every couple of years my gran would kind of re-sew kind of wool into her hair to make it kind of nice and she would bandage up her arms because she would get ripped and stuff like that so there was one time I was in school and I came home and my gran had cut off the ribbons that I used to, to rub for comfort off and replaced them with new ribbons which was very nice of her but as a seven or eight year old little girl I was absolutely devastated and I was crying <laughs> and my grand had to go and look in the bin for for the ribbons and sew them back on. And so on my first visit to Florida, I was two, maybe three, I had gone on and on and on about being so excited about meeting Winnie the Pooh. Oh my gosh, I love Winnie the Pooh, I want to meet him, blah 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 blah. So I have my autograph book and stuff like that. So my parents were like, oh good, good, this is him she, she, she can look forward to because as a two or three year old kind of in, in theme parks there's not really an awful lot to do. Um, but so we queued for a very, very long time to meet Winnie the Pooh. But when I got there I, cr I like, literally cried and ran away and oh my god I was like I was terrified of him. I'll tell you why because on the TV one of the pool looks very very small but in person obviously a person dressed up as one of the pool that is very 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 big so I was terrified of that in the end yeah. <laughs> my gran used to teach me riddles when I was really young which my parents weren't really happy about because when you slip up on a riddle usually you swear. So she used to teach me these riddles. There was one and I couldn't get it and I did swear and she got so mad at me and I was like, it's your fault. But anyway, I'm I'm really good at riddles now. I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm a pheasant plucker so I'm not a fucking pheasant to the pheasant plucking's done.
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to give it a big thumbs up and comment something down below. But um, I just really wanted to share some of my memories from when I was younger with you guys because I guess it helps us get to know each other on a personal level. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!